Welcome to Burn the Man. I am the founder and director of our free community. We are in search of the concept of the free spirit. You have come to the right place. My intention is to free the creative powers of each individual spirit. There are no rules here about how you must behave or how you express yourself. This is why art is such an important part of our event. I cannot explain the concept of the free spirit, but if you participate in our event, you will experience freedom. I selected the Blue Nude as this year's art theme. The Blue Nude freely expresses her deepest nature. Why are you burning a man? The burning of the man symbolizes our resistance to any kind of authority. This is nothing but sexual exhibitionism. This display of pleasure seeking is the result of too many people listening to the ethical individualist and his live and let live ethics. The ethical individualist's concept of the free spirit is an idealistic fantasy. I have not found anybody who lives up to that ideal. We have to deal with real people. Real people are only moral when they are required to obey ethical commandments. When they are free to follow their loves and preferences, they are controlled by the urges of nature. The only concept of the free spirit that can be realized is one of denial and selfless duty. It's the ethical individualist. I will have a strawberry donut please, because I am controlled by my natural urges. I do not deny that natural urges can control people. Only a blind man could do that, but if that is the final word, then away with all the hypocrisy about freedom. You should simply say that people must be forced to act. It does not really matter whether people are unfree because of an insatiable sexual desire, or by the chains of conventional morality. If you believe that everyone is driven to act by an external force, do not have a claim that anyone can call their actions their own. But out of the midst of such enforced order, there are people who lift themselves above the entanglement of a customary life. Free spirits that lift themselves out of legal coercion and lift themselves above religious practice. They are free in so far as they obey, only themselves, and they are not free in so far as they submit to control. Which of us can say that he is really free in all his actions? Yet, in each of us, there dwells something deeper, in which the free human being, finds expression. You say we express ourselves in free, and not free actions. Yes, some of our actions are out of freedom, while others are not. We gradually develop more freedom. You cannot form a final concept of human nature, without including the free spirit, as its purest expression. After all, we are truly human, only in so far as we are free. Well, in my view, freedom remains just an ideal. I can't find any evidence of real freedom. It is an ideal, but it is real, and it has life. The free spirit expresses itself, every time you search for ideals. If you were nothing, but an ape, the search for ideals would be impossible. The search for ideals is also impossible, for the artificial intelligence of the machine. Neither the ape nor the machine are capable of finding the concept of the free spirit. Why is having the concept of the free spirit so important? If you find the concept of the free spirit, you will know what freedom is. If you know what freedom is, you will be able to transform yourself into a free spirit. If you don't know what freedom is, how can you ever expect to be free? 